never probably en- enjoy it than than we have done on other albums that we've made. But probably just because we had more time to just actually enjoy it as well. It's so confined in that. Yeah. So it's so it's so tiny, like the the room that you're all in. Mm. Really. So there's this involvement from every you know of everybody that. Was it like being back in the rehearsal room then? Almost. Yeah, I think a little bit. Yeah, you know, it's just that in some of like the bigger studios. I suppose that you've been it. We've been in over the last couple of years. Is I don't know. There's this when there's more room. There's this, this tendency to like disappear and. Yeah. Whereas I don't know with this thing, we're just out there and isolated and yeah. I was going to say nowhere to go if you have, if you have a hissy fit, but there is a huge desert well, actually. Yeah, <laughs> it's, 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 weird, it's weird though. Yeah. Uh, we'll be talking more about uh, the new record after this. Another track from the album Humbug. This is called Dance Little Liar. From the new Arctic Monkeys album, Humbug, the Arctic Monkeys. Uh, Alex Matt, our guest uh, with us, and that track, Dance, Little Liar. And has it, so as, as, you were, as you were recording, did you actually stop and think, boy, we've changed, haven't we? Look, look how much we've grown up. Did you ever get that? No. Did you ever step back and think, wow, look, look how far we've come? Just looking through, well, I've, I've got all the pictures on my bedroom wall from, from <laughs> no, no, all the, uh, all the press clippings and up there so I can kind of keep it like a timeline. That's what I know exactly. Every Christmas you go home, the folks have got a scrapbook. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, not quite. Does but, it, um, has it, has it, all right, coming out of the back end of it, has, has it changed, has it changed you as a band? Did it increase the confidence and think, well, if we can do that there, we can probably do loads of other different things down the line? Definitely, yeah, it's like that. So, I don't know, someone's big brother comes on a bike ride with you and, and you go down that, like, death ramp that you wouldn't normally go down because <laughs> yeah. you're like, no, it's all right, I can, <laughs> yeah. I can do it. Or, like, I don't know, when you, like, like bully yourself into doing something. Not that we really needed much bullying no. into it, but it's... Which is I think okay, it just, it's something it just you might have avoided unless you... Yeah. I think yeah. there was always the worry that, that if we let... There's always been the thing... And I think it's just perhaps could because it happened so quick, and we were dead young when we made that first uh, album. But it, we d- never really liked to let too many people in to like our little mm. world, and maybe for like fear that it'd somehow like damage or alter the mm. what the band was. Like Josh always knew that they, that I think that'd remain intact even if he did take us out there and I don't think we perhaps knew like how strong or like recognisable mm. that identity was in a way that you can yeah so having done this now you know we know that yeah we can go out there and it'll still be like an Arctic Monkeys record It's interesting you mentioned it because it's a case of trust really that's what you're saying trust mm. with people coming in which is a theme which is in the lyrics which we'll get to in a second but so what were you doing were you standing around throwing in ideas or was uh, <coughs> other people you know Josh and the engineers going well, what about this here this uh, that bit of filmic guitar I'll tell you what we'll put that in two different speakers that's good mm. uh, was it just a riot of ideas there was always a lot of yeah what there were a lot of uh, wires everywhere <laughs> <laughs> yeah just it seemed like there were more. Yeah, there were more wires than wires. <laughs> <laughs> more, more wires this time. But there were less. less Scores sort of nine out of ten for wires. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah, nothing else. There were more. It seemed like there were more time though to tr- to try other stuff. Like before, like even like even if you've done a full song and then it'd be like, oh, we'll try it with that amp or whatever, mm. and then you do it. It'd be tight. It didn't really matter. Like you could do it again. Mm. Just because I think, like Josh probably encouraged that more as well, because he probably saw how much better it could be with this thing or whatever. Yeah. Whereas before we might have just been like, oh, it'll be all right, it sounds all right. And these are real gearhead, yeah. as they, as they sort of say. refer to each other. What is this, sort of drawers? Is it like, you know, in your dad's garage where he's got all his toolkit it's, and everything? It is a bit dad's garage in that. Big in time, yeah. Church, yeah, yeah. yeah. I can, I'm not begin, of things. beginning to picture it in my head. Yeah. It's quite, this record in places, it's quite, I don't know what you were listening to at the time, but it's quite a psychedelic almost in places, I think. Do you see what I mean with, the, with some of the keyboards and some of the guitars? Yeah, yeah, th- no, I'm... Um, Funny word, that, isn't it? <laughs> 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 I, 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 also, well, suggestive. Yeah, well, <laughs> what, what, what have you got? What image have you got in your head yeah. then? What? Have you got Paisley shirt? That's not what I mean. <laughs> no, yeah, no, yeah. no, 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 not Paisley shirt. Just, uh, no, I think, you know, there's, because I think we went there and we, we didn't really write while we were out there. Like, at all the, the, the songs was, were kind of pretty much written. Somewhere I'd really like to go and write, actually. But, yeah. but, but in this, in the, in with this record, we we were already um, we had the tunes, you know. But and so then, but then you know the sounds were really 
worked on like in depth by like you know Josh and, and Alan mm. Johannes like the engineer um, you, you, there was a lot of attention you know paid in that department but you asked what we were listening to didn't you um, let me think because <laughs> I'm imagining you get to the end of the day and there's not a lot maybe to do I don't know we would play like Hendrix Band of Gypsies record quite a bit out there you mean Matt yeah. doesn't set up in the corner and DJ you what's that? No, Can just, they uh, can't afford not, you. Not the room. <laughs> not the room. <laughs> not, the, not the room. Yeah. It's, um, one of the one of the noticeable things. One of the things which suddenly became a bit clearer on this record, which is weird in a way, because in some in some cases the lyrics are far more oblique, and it takes you longer, I think, to try and decipher. But there are there are two there are a couple of themes which uh, you know you, which I get out of this record, and I'm not sure how close this is to the truth. But you write partly about the mysteries. Um, to do with the people close to you, and one to do with suspicion of other people. It's like there's this fascination and uh, you know attention to detail of the people that you're writing about, who are obviously very close within that sort of inner circle, and there's a real distance then towards writing about you know the madding crowd. Mm. Do you see what I mean? That's the two, that's the split that's down the, the middle. Yeah, I think there's, there's like there are um, more personal elements to a lot of these the songs on this one to to like on previous records i think b- perhaps because it's written with a with a bit more of a um sort of like a, a veil over it or like some sort of that allows you almost to put more emotion or like mm. yeah, personal you can be more precise if you're more vague yeah, if, yeah. you know and i didn't want to sort of just invent a load of characters and I maybe just got a bit more bottle to, like, you know, write a love song. You see, because, as I say, there's a, there's a sort of tenderness and affection and still a confusion around the people that you're close to. Uh, but there is there's a, a certain amount of rage at some of the other people. There's just so much distance. It mm. really enforces that idea of you being a very close-knit gang. Yeah. And these the, the you know the rest of the world is kind of over here, and I really don't like that part of it, and I really don't like this, yeah. and I want to keep them as far away as possible, and I'm writing about it <laughs> in a way that does that. Yeah, well, that's I, was, I don't know. I think it's like I, there's something else with like these some of these songs on here that I just whilst like a lot of it, some of it was considered and really like I did, I wasn't like afraid to sit down and like spend a bit of time like writing lyrics this time, which is something perhaps in the past even though I did work at things I almost sort of like to put a ceiling on it because you as if like some magic was going to disappear if you like spent too long at something whereas I, I perhaps like I don't know come to terms with the idea of writing or being a songwriter I suppose which is like a term that used to send like a bit of a shiver down the spine that <laughs> I, I just wasn't just felt a bit like I should have like a cutaway acoustic guitar, yeah, know, like, yeah. <laughs> which yeah. <laughs> but um, like this, like this, with like the cornerstone, like I, I kind of wanted to craft that and make it quite concise and really understandable. But with mm. other things, I'd sort of just write it in the middle of the night and not think too much about it. And almost like even now, I'm still as I'm like started to play them every night. There's facets of it that I'm still figuring out. I think we, yeah, that's what it does make it. For, it does make for a record, which is, you know, you can delve into this more and more. It will probably take you, as I say, longer to decipher. And uh, we're not going to lead you anywhere, listeners. The album out on Monday, uh, Cornerstone. Though I think that's quite lonely. Cornerstone. <laughs> it's quite, it sounds quite lonely. I don't know why. And um, so, sort of people and power is a uh, is also quite an interesting thing which crops up. In fact, almost in that uh, dance little liar track. But we'll talk about that another time. Just want to know favourite tracks before we play another one. Come on, Matt. Um, and has it changed? Uh, yeah, it changes. It still changes, I think, because I always have a different fit. Like it's always a different what I like playing to what I like hearing. Right. Uh, but I like Dance Little Liar a lot. Yeah. Yeah. That's good. I haven't played that yet. So. It is hard, I know, because it's like trying to pick out your favourite grandchild or something, or <laughs> favourite children, isn't it? Yeah. Well, I like all of them, obviously, <laughs> but yeah. you know. no, I, re- I really enjoy them. Jeweler's hands. Um, what about Jeweler's hands? That was like the the we spent like three or four days doing that like uh, in in that first session, and and it's like which it seemed like forever like we'd never spent like longer than you know a day or two recording like a tune before, and then they were this this song. It's the first time I've written anything at, at a piano, so like 
which I think leads you down an all different, you know, to a whole different like network of conclusions. But it, but yeah, we and it, and I think that was always, you know, that'll be the last track sort of thing, and let's now plug the gaps to get to there, and that's sort of what we did in you know subsequent sessions. Yeah. But yeah, we we've sort of we not got around to playing that one live yet, actually. But I'm, I'm like, yeah, I think this sort of that was that was the most far out point we'd been and yeah. and then it was just a case of like well that's so that's there let's like let's put that there at the end you know number 10 and then let's you know it's it, it's there. it's brilliant as well isn't it because it keeps the theme of you know that final track when you when when you left us last time round for 505 it's like where on earth are they going to go next <laughs> that's that's the yeah that's I, re- I think that's that's been set like a couple of people have said that like then it's i don't know where it's nodding but i like yeah, yeah. <laughs> The way its nose looks. <laughs> Let's end uh, with the track which uh, completes Humbug, the new album from the Arctic Monkeys. This is The Jeweler's Hands. Thank you very much for coming in, boys. Nice one, man. Thanks. Six music. Six.